Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Griffin Blazooka Heavy Bowgun. The Griffin Blazooka is made out of Black Diablos parts. It's a Rarity 8 Heavy Bowgun and what stands out about it is that it has a pretty high attack value and then you can add the Elementless skill onto your build and this will actually work with the Griffin Blazooka to bring its attack value up to 363 which is higher than the Dark Devourer. Right now Dark Devourer is kind of a meta for the Heavy Bowguns right and so having this other heavy bow gun that deals really high damage is interesting which means we're of course interested in looking into the type of ammos that it uses and how it uses them you know recoil reload speed that kind of stuff so we're going to take a look at all of that in just a moment let's go over a little bit more of its attributes you'll notice that it has negative 20 percent affinity this is always really interesting on heavy bow guns because if you're using an explosive ammo type the explosive ammo types do ignore negative affinity which is of course what we're going to be taking a look at with the griffin blazooka in just a minute you'll notice his special ammo is wyvern snipe One of the nice things about the Griffin Blazooka is that it's the highest damage heavy bowgun in the game that uses Wyvern Snipe, okay? So you have the Dark Devourer, which uses Wyvern Heart, and then you have a new heavy bowgun called the Territh Assault Horn, which is basically a Griffin Blazooka copycat. Uh, except it's slightly better than the Griffin Blazooka in some regards. It only has negative 10% affinity and it has access to spread ammo. So right now that's a really great weapon for spread ammo. Also it can pretty much copy what the Griffin Blazooka is going to be doing with the Wyvern ammo, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But the big difference between the Griffin Blazooka and the Territh Assault uh, Horn is that Griffin Blazooka is the only one that's going to be using Wyvern Snipe. So if you're really interested in the special ammo Wyvern Snipe, which is actually pretty good against Kul of Tirath right now because she has such a long body, right? And that means you're going to be able to use something like the Focus Skill and get that Wyvern Snipe shot out over and over and over again. Uh, if you're interested in Wyvern Snipe, this is probably going to be your go-to heavy bowgun. Alright, so I mentioned the negative 20% affinity. It has a high deviation, which honestly it doesn't really play a role because you're not going to be using Wyvern Heart. High deviation really messes up Wyvern Heart on heavy bow guns, but again, this will be using Wyvern Snipe, which is just one bullet, not a big problem. Notice that on my mods I've gone with the Shield mod. This is obvious for most heavy bow guns. Reload Assist. This is really important. So what makes the Griffin Blazooka really stand out? is that it's got the Wyvern ammo, just like all the other heavy bow guns. However, it's going to be using that Wyvern ammo, really high damage points, right? And it gets a faster reload speed than the other heavy bow guns. I believe the Territh Assault Horn is going to have the same reload speed on the Wyvern ammo, but just these two heavy bow guns have that fast Wyvern ammo reload speed. So you're going to get one reload assist. That's going to knock the Wyvern ammo out of very slow reload into just slow reload, which is a big improvement. And finally, we're going to be using a close range up mod because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting close to the monster, obviously, and you're going to be spamming Wyvern ammo. That's the point of the Griffin Blazooka. Griffin Blazooka does a few things well. Wyvern snipe, Wyvern ammo, and to a lesser degree, it also uses the heavy bowgun melee better than the other heavy bowguns. So this is a really interesting thing. So when it comes to heavy bowgun melees, uh, let me make sure you know this, of course. Heavy bowgun melees, they actually deal KO damage. So when you're hitting a monster in the head repeatedly with it, you can actually KO them and get them to be knocked down. Right? Well, the only thing that really changes or, or, or differentiates the heavy bowgun melees from each of the heavy bowguns 
It's basically just your attack value. That's the only thing that matters. So the highest damage heavy bow gun has the best heavy bow gun melee. So Griffin Bazooka and Terror the Salt Horn are going to have the best melee attacks. And what's really interesting here is I've actually figured out that you can pair the Griffin Blazooka surprisingly well with the Black Diablos armor set. And uh, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to get to today. So at this point, you know that you should be using the Wyvern ammo on the Griffin Blazooka, and basically that's going to be your primary ammo. The other ammo types, of course, Normal 3, Pierce 3, they're okay. The problem with them is they don't have very large ammo capacity. So if you were to just use them, you wouldn't be very efficient because you'd be spending a lot of the time in the fight reloading. You'd have to reload a lot of times, and that actually lowers your sustained DPS over the duration of the fight. Right? So heavy bow guns that have a large ammo capacity are actually going to out damage Griffin Bazooka's normal 3 and Pierce 3. Uh, they're nice. What I like to use them is I, I use them in intervals where I'm too far away from the monster to use a melee or to use wyvern ammo, but I'm close enough that I can get another shot in, or if the monster's long body is facing me, I might swap over to the pierce ammo for a moment and let two pierce shots out. Right. So normal and pierce, I just kind of play around with those. Sticky will help you get... Uh, a KO, of course, if you didn't know this, sticky ammo does cause KO damage, so you can mix KO and the melee together. I like to do this when the monster is knocked down, but again, getting back to the Black Diablos armor set. Let's take a look at it and, and kind of break down why it works so well with the Griffin Blazooka. So the Black Diablos armor set has two bonus skills that you get for wearing four pieces of armor. The first one comes with just two pieces of armor. It's called Bludgeoner, and Bludgeoner actually affects the melee on heavy bow guns so that you deal more stun damage. Then at four pieces, you're given Elementless. This is a critical skill for the Griffin Blazooka, so getting it for free is very valuable. However, that also means the four pieces that you brought with you do have to be kind of like cost efficient. They have to have skills that are actually meaningful and they have to have good decoration slots. I can attest to the defense on this armor. It's decent defense. It's pretty good for fire and notably it's good against dragon as well. Its weaknesses of water and ice are pretty easy to manage right now. There aren't any super deadly monsters in the game that are good against water and ice. I'm sure that'll change in the future, but right now the defense on the Black Diablo's armor set is pretty useful. And then when we take a look at the Black Diablo's Greaves, you'll notice we get the normal shot skill. This is directly useful because the Griffin Blazooka, even though I don't recommend spamming the normal ammo, the normal ammo actually does a lot of damage with this weapon. Having the normal shot skill is going to pair very well with it. So you're going to be using your Wyvern ammo, and then every now and then you'll use your normal shots. It also gives you a rank 2 decoration slot, which is useful as well. When we move on to the Black Diablo's Coil, you're also going to get a rank 2 decoration slot, but here's what's interesting. You're going to be getting a skill called Resentment. And what's so interesting about Resentment, the way it works is when you have recoverable health, that is when you have that little red bar of health that's coming back, you actually get a damage boost. And when you max out this skill to rank 5, you get a pretty sizable damage boost of plus 25. That's not bad. And so this is what's going to kind of happen with the Black Diablos armor set. You're going to see that with all of the pieces of the armor set, you're going to be building up Resentment, and you're only going to have to fill in a few levels of it. And at the same time, the armor set's going to give you another skill that is relevant to the Griffin Blazooka. It's going to give you the focus skill all the way up to rank 3. And this is useful because you're going to get Wyvern Snipe back. Uh, you know, if you're in a very short fight that's only going to last 5 minutes, the truth is focus is not really that important. And what you can do is you can give up the Black Diablos helmet for any helmet of your choice because you don't need all 5 parts of the armor set. You just need 4 parts of the armor set for the Elementless skill. However, if you're going to be in a very long fight like the Kul of Taroth Siege, you definitely want to bring focus on a weapon like the Griffin Blazooka because you're going to be using your Wyvern Snipe over and over and over again. So the focus skill in some cases are very useful, and a speed run is questionably useful. In my case, I was able to kill Black Diablos very quickly, and during my fight with Black Diablos, I landed all of my Wyvern Snipes very well. So it is, it's hard to judge exactly how useful the focus skill is, and it really does have a lot to do with how long your fight's going to last. The longer the fight, the more valuable focus is going to be because you're going to be saving time every time that 
uh, every time that special ammo recharges, you're going to be saving that time. And in the long run, you're going to see when we're talking about long fights, that's incredibly useful. When we're talking about short fights, it's marginally useful. So it's, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, what's interesting is on the Diablos armor set is you get focused rank three, which tops it off, right? And you do that just by wearing the whole set. So you get to use the Griffin Bazooka, it looks really good. And then you get to wear the entire Black Diablo Summer set, which also looks really good. You're going to get your Wyvern Snipe back very fast, you, as fast as you could. In my case, I'm able to get the special ammo boost onto my build, which is really important here. The special ammo boost is a pretty rare decoration, so if you don't have the unlocked, you might not enjoy it as much. But... I can tell you is very deadly once you have both of those decorations unlocked and very easy to fit on the build as well. I also have the resentment decorations and those resentment decorations allow me to max out that skill. So the gameplay as most of you have already seen, I like to get close to the monster. Uh, you know, I start spamming Wyvern Blast. If I take damage, it just means I, I get a 25 attack boost to my next move. So, so it's a very clever setup in my opinion. You're getting Elementless for free. You're getting the Bludgeoner skill right from the Diablo set as well. And so when the monster is knocked down, I like to melee them in the head and it just causes another knockdown because they're going to take enough KO damage. And I also use that sticky ammo in order to cause a little more KO damage. That helps with the, you know, getting that second knockdown as well. One thing I don't use, I don't use the cluster bombs very often. Uh, you know, they're, they're just okay. You can bring them if you want to. I don't find them damaging enough. I'd rather just focus exclusively on the wyvern ammo. I think it's more efficient. So before I wrap things up, let's just go over the skills real fast and I'll talk a little bit about them. Resentment 5, we just mentioned that's for getting close to the monster, taking a little bit of damage, and then getting that big attack boost. Artillery 3 is really important. That's going to be boosting your explosive damage from wyvern ammo. Really, really important. You have special ammo boost. I fit that onto the build using decorations. That's also really important. That allows the Wyvern Snipe to do extra damage, which pairs well with focus that you're getting from the armor set. You'll want to have Guard Up. Guard Up's going to allow you to block all of the moves in the game. Of course, you're going to have Bludgeoner and Non-Elemental Boost as well, and both of those are coming from the Diablo's armor set. And I also get normal shots, which means that when I'm in a position where I can pull out my normal ammo and shoot them in the head or whatever it is I'm doing, I do like to use my normal ammo on this build, depending on what situation I'm in. All right, and that's my review for the Griffin Blazooka Heavy Bow Gun. It's a really interesting weapon. It's going to have some tight competition right now from the Terrath Assault Horn. If you don't have the Terrath Assault Horn, feel free to build the Griffin Blazooka Heavy Bow Gun anyways. It looks really good. If you're just focusing on a Wyvern ammo setup, you know, you don't really need the Terrath Assault Horn. Both weapons are going to be ignoring that negative affinity when you use Wyvern ammo. And besides that, the only other thing I have to say is, uh, you know, you could probably go with a uh, Divinity build where you have a chance not to expend your wyvern ammo as you use it, as well as not having to reload it. But honestly, I prefer this resentment build. It just gives me more raw damage per shot. It's also giving me more raw damage per wyvern snipe shot. And wyvern snipe, of course, is not affected by divinity. And yeah, I enjoy it a lot. I actually use this weapon all the time. It's one of my favorite heavy bow guns if I'm not using the Dark Devourer, okay? So these two bow guns right now are my go-to bow guns for killing monsters fast. Uh, and I have some other heavy bow guns to talk about as well, especially two heavy bow guns that are related to killing Kulv Tiroth very quickly. So I might talk about those in the future. Until then, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm doing so awesome on my own. Like, right now, I found this can of beans. Mm -hmm.